Welcome to IGSS Online Training. I'm Per Fredriksen from Seven Technologies Denmark and I'm here to present our SCADA system IGSS. This is lesson 13, Drawing Tools. And after this presentation I recommend that you do the exercise. In this lesson we will learn about the drawing toolbar in IGSS. We will learn about drawing objects such as lines, polygons, polylines, etc. Windows controls like the combo box and progress bar, slider control, etc. Graphics and animation. You can include both graphics and animated files in IGSS to represent IGSS objects. You can also embed ActiveX controls on mimic diagrams. And finally we'll talk about the grid control which is a specific IGSS feature. First of all we have the drawing toolbar in IGSS which is used to draw independent lines, polygons, etc. You see all the drawing tools over here. And uh, it's also used to insert graphics and multimedia files. Graphics from this button and multimedia files over here animated GIF files and AV files. You can insert embedded diagrams, graphs and alarm lists, some of the functions that we've already discussed early on. The embedded graph here for example. And we can see that we also have the possibility of integrating the animated symbols uh, on our mimic diagrams. Now what can you use this for? Uh, for example, if you have a flow meter Q1, you could connect this flow meter to a line in IGSS. So you simply, you draw the line in IGSS and you connect it to the object Q1. And then the line will reflect the process value of Q1. If it's in alarm, for example, you can make the, uh, the line blink. Uh, and right now it's just in the normal value section. Over here we have a polygon. This is exactly what you're going to be doing in the exercise that follows this presentation. You can also include Windows controls to represent IGSS objects. Here we have some examples, command buttons, typically used to link to another diagram or to uh, send a digital command as we do here. We close the valve here. Uh, we can use a combo box uh, also for digital commands progress bar for analog objects, and check boxes and radio buttons for digital objects like pumps and valves, as you see over here. Then we have the fun section, uh, graphics, files, and animation. Uh, graphics you could use for different states of a uh, digital object. Uh, we see two different graphics here for two different states or commands for a digital object. You can use uh, graphics for diagram references or thumbnails as we also call it. So you can have a mini mimic diagram on your overview diagram linking to the actual sub diagram. Multimedia files. You can bind AV files or animated GIF files to the value or state of an IGSS object. And when the Object, for example, a motor, when the motor runs, then of course the animation will also run. You can embed ActiveX controls in IGSS. Uh, there are lots and lots of them on the internet. Uh, we have purchased, for example, the GMS Angular Gauge uh, from globalmagic.com. This is uh, the one you see here on the slide. Uh, it allows you to, uh, for example, bind the needle here to the object value of an analog object. That is what I've done here with my level meter. Uh, I can also show the alarm range. That's what we have from 8 to 15 here. That's the high alarm range. Uh, we can also allow the user to change the alarm limit or set point from the needle. And in fact, you will have multiple displays inside this ActiveX control. This is just one instance that we see here. For further information, uh, please visit these web addresses down here. Now, how do you connect an IGSS object to a Windows button, for example? Let's say that we want to create a Windows button and we want to link that button to another diagram in our configuration. First step, we in 
include the uh, Windows button on the diagram. We position it and we resize it. Then we right click and select connect. Then we come into the object browser and this is where we of course select the diagram that we want to link to. Notice that these are all diagrams that we can link to here. Next step, we go into the attributes of button tab. This is the specific tab for the Windows button. It is divided into different uh, property sections as you can see here and under miscellaneous we can specify the button label or text to be displayed. Beverage we call it here. That's the diagram we want to link to. When we click OK and leave the properties dialog, then we have our final button out here on the diagram. And when we install and run this in Supervise, then the user simply clicks on the beverage button to go to that diagram. And of course, the alarm see-through function can also work on this button. You'll be able to see if there are alarms on the beverage sub-diagram. Finally, we have the grid control. This is a very nice feature in IGSS where you can put up a, a table format like this on a diagram where you can collect key values from the configuration. Uh, in this particular example, I've collected the atoms of an analog object. And uh, you can write text over here in the left column and then you link to the actual values of the configuration over here on the right side. This is all done in a floating property sheet uh, where you can directly edit all the cells of this table. Notice over here that uh, I have linked to, for example, Q2 here, the object Q2. So I simply browse for my object. I select the atom I want to link to, and then that value is shown over here. This can be an incoming value, can also be an outgoing value, where the operator, for example, here on the set point cell, will be able to send a set point into IGSS. Thank you for your attention. For more information, please visit www.70dk/igss.